Hello all. It's time to do my first technical video in a couple of years. I was going to do an unboxing how it works video, but someone convinced the delivery people that they were me and managed to make off with two packages. One contained a flight controller module and the other contained a brushless motor, ESC prop, and miscellaneous hardware. The third one I was able to intercept before the neighborhood parcel thieves got to it. This is a Beixian BN880 GPS module, which also has a magnetometer, referred to as a compass, built in. It includes a double-sided pad to mount it, which I won't be using, and three different cable sets, two of which are designed for use with solderless breadboards, Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, etc. This is one of the cables used for breadboards, as you can see from these connectors. I'll be using this one with the male connectors on the end. Let's get started connecting this up to the Arduino and I'll speed it up so you won't get too bored. It's done. It's hooked up. The sketches I'll be using come with the GPS library which I use. The library is TinyGPS++, links for which will be in the description. For those of you who have no experience installing a library, here's how you do it. Go to the Sketch menu item, then to the Include Library item, although this is called uh, Import Library in the older versions of the Arduino IDE. And you're going to go down, you're going to go to Add Zip Library, go to the location where you downloaded your library, and here we see Tiny GPS Plus Master. That's what you'll be using. Then just click OK. I've already imported it, so I'm not going to do it. And then in the Include Library section, you will see Tiny GPS Plus Plus. The Tiny GPS Plus Plus library comes in a zip file. The sketch I'll be using is inside the zip file. The example file is in the basics folder. So let's go to File, Open. And so inside the zip file is examples and source. Go into examples, basic example, and the one we'll be using is basic example.ino, which is this one here. And you'll see that I've set GPS baud rate to 9600, and serial in this, in my case, is 115.2. So I'm going to compile it. And you can see that didn't take long. I've got a fairly fast system, but even on a slower system, it shouldn't take long. And we'll upload it.
And there it is, uploaded. And you can see that the module is flashing blue. That means that it's communicating with the Arduino, but there should also be a red light flashing for indicating satellite. So we'll have to leave it for a few minutes. It could take 10 or more minutes to acquire its first set of satellites. I'm inside of a building with stucco coated walls, which means I am also surrounded by steel mesh, essentially a giant Faraday cage. So it'll take a while. And it looks like we have at least one satellite. Let's find out how many. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to run the serial monitor. And you can see we've got four satellites. We'd want more, it's not necessarily the best, but it'll do. I won't do the magnetometer in this video, but I've got some more demo plans for this, so next video. Jamata.